and welcome to the next level, the high school quarterback film series that takes those quarterbacks and asks the simple question, are you ready for the next level? I'm your boy, Rogue, contributor for State of the U and OG member of the Orange Bowl Boys and somebody who's making waves. I don't know if you knew this or not, but the University of Miami Hurricanes don't have a quarterback committed for the 2021 class. And this guy, well, he was committed to the USC Trojans up until, I don't know, a few days ago, and that's Jake Garcia. And here you go. So let's go right under the hood and see what we can find, shall we? Uh, I noticed that the defense right away, this is a dinner bell for any quarterback. When you look out here and you don't see any safeties, that means it is cover zero. They're pretty much stacking the box. You have a one-on-one -on -one coverage. You can kind of tell. Here's press man on the outside. So you're going to rely on your wide receiver to beat this guy. Plus, he's got a lot of field to work with outside. He can easily get outside here, which he does. So give kudos to the wide receiver. And I like Jake Garcia's ability to just, just really refine. And I like his footwork. Here we go. One, two, three. Step throw. Tall. Look at that. Tall in the pocket. Good follow through. Hips in line to the target. <laughs> Look at these guys. Look at them looking. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what you're looking at. I'll tell you right now. Bang. And moving right along into the RPO, the run pass option. If you followed the Miami Hurricanes, you know Rhett Lashley. Basically everybody in college football these days into high school, into Pee Wee League is running run pass option. And it's no different with Grayson quarterback Jake Garcia here, who's running a post-snap variety. So in this case, what do I mean by post-snap? You see, he's putting the ball into the belly of the beast of the running back. This is called the mesh point, And he's going to go ahead and delay this as long as he can. And he's looking. His vision is taking him right here. Because he's seeing after the snap, if he can get this slant to come open, which it will. And he makes a great decision to throw this ball accurate, too. I like it because here's the corner from the boundary coming in on the boundary blitz. So you'll see this, and this decision to pull the ball is right here, right? His cornerback crashed. He was buzzing into the flat, but the slant's going to come in right behind him. And I like how quick Jake Garcia can go ahead from this position and get the ball out. Ready? Watch. Rather quickly. Good job. We're going to go ahead and, and, and watch this back in full time. Here we go. Good stuff. And one more time just to prove my work and say that this is an RPO. Just <laughs> and the refs missed something, too, and this is how we're going to end this clip. I'm pretty sure you can't be blocking somebody seven yards downfield, son. All right, all right, some touch here. You're going to notice that the defense, they're 4-3, and these front seven, they're all coming uh, in either delayed intervals or not. So you basically have just four defenders in the back to cover four. Not pictured, you're going to have a two-shell safety look. However, he's going to man right here to this field side two wide receiver who is just going to go ahead and obliterate him on a go route. Once again, you got to look at the quarterbacks because the next two clips, this first clip, we're going to just look at when you hear somebody say that they, they're able to throw on different levels, this is what I mean. This is obviously going to be one with touch, and the next concept you're going to see on the next clip, you're going to see even more touch. So here we go. Once again, like the feet. We're going to run this back pretty quick, too, because right here, you see that shuffling of the feet? A lot of people think, oh, man, that's happy feet. No, that's taut. That's your reset and gather game. L let me put it to the concept this way. When you're moving your feet in that direction, up and down, up and down, up and down, in that way, it's easier to reset sometimes, and that's a principle of teaching that some quarterback coaches do, than being flat-footed and not moving and then picking up because it's more deliberate. Hopefully that makes sense. But that's taught. That's not happy feet. That is a well-refined machine right there. And here comes the ball. He takes a shot, by the way, and we're going to go ahead and watch that back. Um, look at the shot he takes but and watch the feet once again. So here comes a shot. And this is why he's not able to fully step up into the throw because it's hard when you get a linebacker right down into your chest. And bang. And moving right along, you're going to see Jake Garcia's ability to go ahead and once again throw with some touch, throw on multiple trajectories or on different levels and why that is so important. The other thing that I came to walk away from this clip is I have a fond appreciation for the Grayson offensive coordinator and his ultimate trust in Jake Garcia here because this isn't an easy concept. I mean, you're running a tight bunch concept down here to the bottom of the field. You have an opposing opposite concept that's 
meant to beat a different coverage up here. So you're relying on your quarterback to go ahead and read it right, and he does. So as the play unfolds right here, you're going to see this right here. Now, this happens at the high school level, not so much in the college level. I mean, you're going to have some coverage busts even in college. This is true, but inexplicably, you have this safety. He's he's following somebody across the field when he has two, three, and four coming into view. So you basically have three defenders on one wide receiver right now, and somebody's going to be popping open. And that's exactly right here what's going to happen. So right here. If he decided to go ahead and just bullet this ball, right? Come on, Ro, it's, it's all about arm strength. It's not always about arm strength because if he tries to bullet this ball right here, it's going to hit the back of this defender. So you have to put some touch on this ball. You have to loft it up there, and here it is. And that decision to go ahead and put some touch on the ball led to six. You either bang this guy right in the back of the head or – that didn't sound right – but – or it turns into a touchdown, and that's exactly what happened. So, once again, watch the touch. We're going to let this go in real time. No more talking, and here it goes. Ooh, I like it. I like it. You have an empty set look, a creative way to use an offensive lineman, and some SSW by the quarterback, some subtle shoulder warfare. Let's go to the clip. Here you go. Look, this is an offensive lineman. You could tell because he's got like a 50 number and two knee braces. But give this man an Academy Award because watch this. Bam, just coming back here. And did somebody take the flow bait? Yep, there they are. A couple defenders took the flow bait. They got sucked in. And now this is when I appreciate Jake Garcia. Not only did he carry out the design of the play, use that little subtle shoulder warfare, got some defenders to suck up. But when he decides to throw this ball, right, there's a propensity for a lot of high school quarterbacks that I watch to go ahead and only throw it when the wide receiver is open versus throwing it and making them open. So right now, here's the open area, right? And this is what he sees. And when you're even, you're leaving. Good decision to throw. He throws them open. And that's how you go ahead and execute a perfectly designed play. So this is going to be the last clip of this particular video. And don't you worry, Canes fans. If Jake Garcia ends up being the Miami Hurricane quarterback for the 2021 class, we will circle back around, do our due diligence, and we will make sure that we will go ahead and institute a proper welcome. But in this case, let's focus on this clip before I get into some commentary. But on this clip, your offensive coordinator, sometimes he needs you to bail him out. And in this case, they're bringing some A-gap pressure. It's going to get home on this play-action pass. And you're not going to have the time to complete this because here comes the pressure. So do you have enough athleticism to escape the pocket and extend the chains? And he does. Now, the commentary. I like to classify quarterbacks in two different ways. Are they zone read threats, like they can literally pull the ball and score? Or are they zone read capable, like they can go ahead and pull the ball and extend the chains? Now, obviously, you just saw Jake Garcia do the latter. Okay, I would see an offense with Jake Garcia and current offensive coordinator Rhett Lashley kind of mimicking what it did at SMU with Shane Bichelle. Now, I obviously, and I'm going to be on record, think that Jake Garcia is an exquisite arm talent and has much better arm talent than Shane Bouchelle had at SMU. But I think a lot of the quarterback veer – capacity a lot of the quarterback design reads that you see Derek King utilize now I don't think you're going to see that moving forward with Jake Garcia but the good news is Canes fans that Rhett Lashley in that style of offense obviously with SMU in his last year put up 40 points a game and currently right now the University of Miami Hurricane with a mobile quarterback in Derek King is around 35 points a game so I like the fact that Rhett Lashley has the ability to use several types of quarterbacks including Jake Garcia, and makes it work. 